All right. Uh, today, we're going to continue our walk through this move to global war, the Italy and Germany case studies, by talking about Italian aggression uh, through the 1930s. Uh, we want to step back a little bit, though, and remember those factors in Italy that are going to lead to expansion, uh, this drive for, for aggressive expansion. Uh, first of all, fascism. Remember, it's glorification of war. And in Italy, Benito Mussolini, from the beginning, was calling for imperial expansion of his state. And now we add on to that an economic crisis with the Great Depression. Uh, Italy is losing outside investors. Uh, grain prices uh, in Italy are crashing. That are It's hurting Italian farmers. Unemployment is on the rise, which is going to push Italy and Benito Mussolini towards uh, creating this autarkic economic uh, society where, where they can be self-sufficient economically. And you can only do this uh, by, by expanding your territory. And so Benito Mussolini's foreign policy, as we go through the 1930s, is going to st start to take on this more aggressive tact. Now, early in the 30s, he, he's still playing this internationalist game. Um, he's very concerned um, about a growing German threat uh, of, uh, with Adolf Hitler. And so Benito Mussolini is going to enter into what is known uh, the, as the Quadripartite Pact, or the Four Power Pact, with Britain, France, and Germany. Uh, basically, this is, this is Italy's attempt to be seen as a great power in Europe and try to create some alliance with Britain and France um, um, to, to maybe check a growing power of Germany. Uh, he's also going to offer some support to Austria. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more when we deal with German aggression about, um, about how Germany will be looking towards Austria. Adolf Hitler obviously wants a uniting of Germany and Austria. We call that an Anschluss. In 1934, the Austrian chancellor is going to be going to be murdered by Austrian Nazis. And when this happens, um, Italy is going to move some troops, to mobilize some troops to its northern border, basically as a show of force against what would possibly be a, a German threat to Austria. Um, as Germany starts to rearm, again, Benito Mussolini is very concerned about, about the possible threat that Germany could pose, especially if it joined with Austria. And so uh, Benito Mussolini is going to work with some friends and allies in France and uh, Britain to create what is known as the Stresa Front um, in April of 1935, Italy, France, and Britain all agreeing to, to stand together to maintain the status quo of Europe and to, to prevent Germany from further violations of the Treaty of Versailles. This is going to quickly fall apart, though, um, as, as Italy is going to look to expand in Africa. In 1935, we will see the Italian invasion of Abyssinia. Now, um, Abyssinia, also known as Ethiopia, um, Abyssinia um, is nestled in between territories in Africa that Italy already controls in Eritrea and Italian Somaliland. I'll slide aside so you can see that. Um, Italy obviously wants to unite these, these uh, East African holdings. Um, he hopes that it's going to gain support for his government uh, within Italy after having successful conquests. He wants to avenge a defeat that the Italian Empire experienced back in the 1890s um, as they tried to take this land. They lost a, a battle known as the Battle of Adawa. He wants to avenge that defeat. He's hoping to gain colonial troops. Remember during World War I that the British and the French were using troops from their colonies to support their war effort. Italy would gain some benefit from this. They want to get markets for Italian goods. Um, Italy feels comfortable now that the Stresa Front exists, that they don't have to worry about a threat from Germany, and so they can focus elsewhere. And um, it would be that opportunity to demonstrate Italian strength. Um, this all begins in, in uh, late 1934, when there's a clash between Italian forces and Abyssinians in a, in a disputed um, uh, region uh, within Abyssinia. Uh, Mussolini demands an apology and compensation. Again, this probably sounds a lot like the Mukden incident. Um, the emperor of Abyssinia, named Haile Selassie, is going to go to the League of Nations and call for an investigation. 
Mussolini, Italy, remember, is an important member of the League of Nations, they're going to refuse. And, and he actually calls for the conquest of Abyssinia. And in the next year, 500,000 Italian troops will flood in um, and invade uh, Ethiopia, invade Abyssinia. And they do it in absolutely brutal uh, methods. Uh, they're, they're using poison gases, um, bombing civilian populations. It is an absolute disaster for the people of Abyssinia. The League of Nations will condemn this invasion and they'll place economic sanctions, economic punishments on Italy. The results of this Abyssinian crisis, very few Italian losses, hundreds of thousands of Ethiopian losses. Now we're going to see increased tensions with Britain and the end of the Stresa front. Britain doesn't want to see a wider war in Africa. And notice that Abyssinia is located right along the, uh, the Red Sea. Um, and uh, this could impact possible British shipping to and from India. Um, this is a costly war for Italy. Uh, and it's going to exacerbate economic problems rather than solve economic problems for Italy. Uh, there's going to be a guerrilla war where, where Abyssinian fighters will continue to strike against Italians in uh, Abyssinia for years to come. And we see the League of Nations being shown as weak and ineffectual to stop aggression like this. Very quickly, Benito Mussolini will turn his attention over to Spain, where a civil war is breaking out in 1937. Um, and in the Spanish Civil War, Benito Mussolini sees this as an opportunity to support the expansion of fascist governments and his Italian influence. So he's going to support fascists in Spain against socialists and communists that are warring against each other. Um, Mussolini also hopes to gain naval bases along the Western Mediterranean. And Benito Mussolini will send 70,000 American, or pardon me, 70,000 Italian troops into the Spanish Civil War. More than any other nation will send into this fight. The results of this, um, Again, high economic costs, a depletion of the Italian military. So we've got like back-to-back -back wars in Abyssinia and now in Spain, depleting the Italian military, leaving them weaker moving forward. Um, increased tensions with Britain and France, uh, which were not sympathetic towards the, uh, the fascists in, um, in the, the uh, Spanish Civil War, even though they were not directly sending aid um, into that fight. Um, and it's, so it's going to result with some new alliances coming uh, for, for Italy. Benito Mussolini is going to be moving away because of these actions from Britain and France and moving closer to Germany. In 1836, Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini's government signed what's called the Rome-Berlin Axis. Uh, this is why we call these countries during World War II the Axis powers. Remember, an axis is kind of like the center and everything surrounds it. So they're feeling like they're the center of the world. Um, in November of 1937, uh, Italy will enter into an agreement with Germany and Japan called the anti Comintern Pact, um, where they stand together to try to stop the spread of international communism. And from here, the ball rolls very quickly to the Second World War. Now Benito Mussolini is firmly in Adolf Hitler's camp. Uh, he will support now the German Anschluss of Austria in 1938. Mussolini will support German occupation of Czechoslovakian Sudetenland. He will invade Albania um, and essentially annex the, uh, the state of Albania. He will create a de military defensive alliance with Germany in May of 1939 called the Pact of Steel. But by September of 39, when World War II begins in Europe with the German invasion of Poland, um, Italy is not ready for war. Uh, they've had too many expensive conflicts prior to this point to be ready to jump into the Second World War. But Adolf Hitler, as you're going to learn very soon, Adolf Hitler and the German military is going to steamroll uh, through 1939 and into 1940, almost threatening leaving Italy completely behind. So Benito Mussolini is going to end up joining the Second World War effort in June of 1940.
Uh, Germany has already made tremendous gains. Um, Italy still wants to be seen as a great power and the controller of the Mediterranean. He wants to avoid having a Germany uh, that is dominating all of Europe. And he sees this as an opportunity to make some territorial gains. Uh, so in June of 1940, Italy will launch attacks of Egypt from Italian Libya. That's going to be attacks against the British in Egypt, against um, Italians in Libya. He's going to invade Greece from the north, from Albania, and he will launch attacks into France through the mountain range of the Alps, which you see photoed here. So Italy is now firmly in the Second World War, and we're going to, in our next video, rewind a little bit and walk through that German march to the Second World War. We'll talk to you soon.